what's up it is jackintosh7 and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a vault server the last video i did was how to make a ticket server um so now i'm going to show you guys how to make a vault server um so both it's it's really easy to do um same pretty much same as the ticket server i'm just going to delete that and uh yeah so you want to go to the link in the description first and go to bring you to this page on uh, technicpack.net and you're just going to want to go to download the vault server and um so yeah it's just going to download i actually already have it so i don't know why i'm re-downloading it but whatever i'll wait for it to download i have like two seconds left and we're just going to put that off to the side and when it's done downloading we're going to drag it to the desktop and now we can close this and all right so what you're going to want to do now is make a new folder on your desktop um, and name it server. I have a folder named server already, I believe. So I'm gonna put 33 after it. Now we're gonna drag this file, which is a WinRAR file. You do need WinRAR for this. I'm um, just searching on Google, it's very easy to find. And then just hit extract here. And I don't know why my cursor is flashing like that. But okay. Now you, what you're gonna wanna do is delete this file right here and hit launch and it's just going to build all the files for us like i said you do need winrar to open the files um, to extract them you can use 7-zip um, but i do prefer um, winrar it is free they have a 40-day free trial which is actually free um, so yeah i have no idea why my cursor is flashing it's really bugging me whatever so as you can see just what we did was when we ran this we just got a whole bunch more files right here so now as you can see this finished so what we can do is hit stop and enter and it's just going to save all of our stuff and then now we can hit enter to close it all right so i'll show you how to now access show you guys that we have a working server um you're just going to want to uh minimize this and close this you can actually leave this open um so we're going to open up technic launcher and it's going to do that um put that over there we're going to want to go to volts login and yeah it's just going to do this put this through um so yeah all right, now we're gonna go to make this bigger, go to multiplayer, and now we're gonna go to direct connect, put in local host, and hit join server. Now, this is not what you're gonna put in if you want your friend down the street or wherever to download, I mean, to join the server. I'm gonna show you guys what you have to put in um, later on in a little while, like actually right now, so. Yeah, so as you can see, we have a working ticket server. I mean, Volt server. We have all of the items, but you cannot spawn them in. So, there's a way to spawn them in. I'm not going to be showing you guys in this video. If I get enough requests, I will in a different video, though. So, yeah, as you can see, we have all the stuff. And it's a working Volt server. Um, so, now what you're going to want to do is disconnect, close that. You can now close this, so right stop in the command and then hit enter now you're going to want to go to command prompt open up a different command prompt window type in cmd in your search menu right there and you're going to want to put in ip config and you want to find your ipv4 address so um right here this is not it as you can see this is virtual box that if it, that's not it say it's um let's say uh what do you what do you call that a virtual machine um, thing so don't don't worry about that you chances are you won't have that so you, you're gonna want to look for something that says like wireless LAN adapter wireless connection to or local area connection Ethernet um, Ethernet adapter local area connection something like that um, you're going to find this IPv4 address it looks like 192.168.1.1 make sure that number is the same as mine except for the last digit which is a 10 um, so now what we're going to want to do is go back to our web browser and put in 192.168.1.1 and this is going to be port forwarding 
So if you want to use Hamachi, you guys can skip this and do Hamachi. I hate Hamachi, so I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on that. So for your username, you put an admin and password. You put in password. And this will log you in. I put it in wrong. Uh, unless you changed it, then it might not work. You have to put in the correct things that you changed. So, yeah, now this will bring up our um, save the password, okay? Um, it will bring up your router control panel. I have a Netgear router. One oh, of YouTube, YouTube, what's up? What it's is Jack this? Seven, oh, it finished uh, exporting. Alrighty. So, now what you're going to want to do is go to advanced um, or un just find port forwarding right here. Um, just find it. It's going to be different for everybody. Alright, so then you're just going to want to look for port forwarding or port triggering. Just find that. And then you're going to want to, you're probably not going to have any extra, any of these. So you're just going to want to go to add custom service. And then you're going to want to type in the name. So we're going to write volts. Oops. And then we're just going to put in um, for the um, this one, this right box right here, we're going to put in 25565, same thing with the next one. And then right here is where you put in that number that we were just looking at, this number here. You're going to want to put that there, the last digit, which is a 10. And then there we go, you apply, and then you're not going to get this. Um, so you're, you're, the only reason why I got this was because I have, uh, one running on the same, one server running on the same, um, computer already, so you're not going to get that. Um, so now you're probably like, alright, I'm going to go give this number to my friend right here, and, uh, we're going to play some Tech It. No, I mean, what is this? Am I doing Tech It or Volts? Volts. Alright, I made a Tech It server for the video about that. Um, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to um, IP Chicken, alright, and I'm going to be blurring this off, you guys cannot see this of mine, but you'll see yours, and this is the number that you're going to want to give to your friends, um, you really want to, you're supposed to hide this number, um, so that way you don't get hacked, but um, yeah, you can, I'm going to show you guys how to hide this or make it um, hidden behind a, like a number, I mean, uh, whatever you want, it can be so and so, like no, numbers and letters, so, yeah, it's really it, so this is what you give to your friends, um, which is, I blurred out right here, so, that blue number is what you're going to give to your friends, and then every time you want to start the server, just open up the file and then hit launch and there you go that's really it thanks for watching guys if you have any questions please let me know and i'll try to fix it um i'll just try to tell you how to fix it and all that stuff so thanks for watching